Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the... Almost said the, the stank. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was on the stank. I was I was so close to... Uh, I was about to start off by singing the Spongebob theme. <laughs> I don't know why I was... It lives in I, a pineapple under the I sea. actually dreamed about that last night. I don't know why. I had a dream that I was sitting, we were recording, and I was like... Oh, I Are you meant, ready, kids? I thought you meant you had a dream that you were in the Spongebob universe. That would be cool. That would be sick. That'd be cool. But I don't want to be around that crab patty. Why? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's going on, guys? <laughs> it's the most unorthodox intro of all time. Yeah. Yeah, no, I was saying I don't want to be around no Krabby Patties because there's a conspiracy out that fucking Mr. Krabs killed his fucking whole family and his wife to make the Krabby Patties. His whole family and his wife? Wouldn't his No, but like, his, like his, his, his immediate family, not like his wife oh, and like, kids like family. Oh, like grandpa and... Yeah, why do you think that motherfucker's got a fucking adopted whale for yeah, a daughter? But surely Where it's are the not other crabs? just his family. Where It'd are the other crabs, the crabs in... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like, where are the other crabs in Spongebob? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's crazy. Mr. Plus... Mr. Krabs is a fucking cannibal. And there's an episode where he eats it and he goes, Hmm, that's what it tastes like. I'm like, ah. Uh. That's why he's so reluctant on no one having the secret formula. Yeah, I know. Because he's gonna... Fu- people are gonna find yeah. out that it's fucking crabs. That, and I'm pretty sure the producers don't want people thinking there's, like, mad cannibalism shit going on. Yeah, well, <laughs> so yeah. So they're like, oh, we'll just keep it... You know, we'll just like, pretend that it's like he doesn't want the secret getting out because it's so good but, uh, yeah and, you know that's that's like that's their go to episode they're like fuck we can't think of anything isn't it ah uh, yes we'll have Plankton try and steal the Krabby Pat the Se- Krabby Patty secret formula isn't it scary twice? though that like that's in a kid show yeah. and we just accepted it like yeah what what's f- fucking stupid is that we've I've grown up by the way Spongebob's fire like I'm not dissing Spongebob right now Spongebob is fire yeah it's one of the most fire fucking shows of all time yeah it's great oh my man Steven Hillenberg rip, rest in peace yeah the man <sighs> yeah I fucking dude I grew up watching Spongebob it's literally all I did like the caveman episodes have you seen the caveman episodes yeah. they're fucking they're fire I love when they actually discovered fire in that episode. Underwater? I love the um, <laughs> the Spongebob movie. The first one. Yeah, the second one, trash. And the new one, disc- oh. remake. Dude, before I, Steven died, he was like, uh, I don't want any spin-offs. Nickelodeon. It's, it, it's one of those It's one of those things where it's like, it's like, I forgot something. If you forgot, it probably wasn't important. Fucking Steven Hillenberg rolling in his grave. They're like, yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. Nickel- fucking Nickelodeon. Why'd you have to go and do that? Why'd you have to go... And disrespect my man Steven. Yeah. My man Steven. Bit of a rip. Yeah, man. Man, that... Yeah, the caveman episode is probably one of my favourites. Spongar. Patar. <laughs> Jesus. <coughs> I, don't, I don't remember it down to I it. fucking love it. It's absolute gold. The Goofy Goober theme song. Oh, bad. I'm Like, to this day, I call everyone a goober. Yeah. Is that where you got it from? Uh... I actually don't know where I got it from. I think I got it from some kid at uh, Chelt Sec when I went there at high school. Someone called someone a goober. And it just stuck. Yeah, it just <laughs> stuck with me. And then I'm like, yo, goofy goober. Is that where that came from? So now I've just sort of connected and been like, yeah, that's where it comes from, definitely. Probably doesn't. Someone probably just was trying to insult someone and they couldn't think of anything. So they went, you fucking goober. Probably. That's how those <laughs> insults start. The fucking the bloopers of Superwog. Yeah. Shout out Superwog, by the way. Yeah, it's kind of declined. Yeah, they have gone downhill. <laughs> they have gone downhill. Have you anyways. seen the new video? It is. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. pretty bad. Yeah, anyways. Yeah. We're oh. not here to call yeah. people out. It's well, not what we do. Anyways. But, How's your week been, man? Um, not bad. Not bad. Uh, since we recorded last... Um, we recorded last... Damn. Last Friday. <laughs> oh, my stomach's yeah, going. Yeah, we record these in advance. Yeah, um... We're we were busy, rec- man. We recorded last Friday, but we usually record Thursdays. Um, and on that Friday, it was Black Friday, and I was working that day. I was working as well. And I, I, I just, I'd finished work, and then we recorded, and it was so busy, dude. Yeah. Like I think crazy. I told you, we yeah. had like three seckies in there, and it was just insane. Dude, like, dude, I, I felt, so I felt so stressed. I was like, holy shit, someone's gonna steal something, and I'm getting in trouble. Oh man. Oh well, uh, this week's been a yeah a good one for me. I've uh, I've discovered something recently. Yes, Jack has finally joined the club. Jack, would you like to tell them your new addiction? Look, I'm not ashamed. 
And it's not an addiction, it's just a newfound... Love. Appreciation. For a motherfucker. Um, <coughs> yeah. <coughs> um, so, all these years... Say it proud and strong, Jack. I've been dissing coffee, but... Yeah. He's joined the club, ladies yeah, and I've gentlemen. the club, yeah. Everyone seems to be happy about it, which is cool. Yeah, I'm very happy about it, because I always offer to make him a coffee, because I've got a coffee machine here, like a proper one. Fuck out of here with that pod shit. Um... And he's like, nah, I don't like coffee. And like, he's okay with some iced coffees. Yeah. But when I found out he was all right with the coffee and he was like, you know, make me one when we record on Thursday, I was like, yeah, yeah. I was, I was like, I was genuinely happy nah, because I, I love uh, making coffees for uh, yeah. people. Yeah. They, coffee's good. I take back anything I've ever said about it. I mean, uh, Jack has tea, his, though. Jack tea has his with two sugars. Tea There's some fun. teas that are nice uh, though. I have fun. a chamomile and spiced apple one. Tastes like an apple pie. Uh, don't like apple pie. You don't like apple pie? What the no. fuck is wrong with you? I like uh, chocolate pies. <laughs> <laughs> and chocolate meat pie? pies. And meat pies. Meat pies. Meat pies good. You like apple crumble? If it's with ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. yeah fuck, you gotta have <laughs> fucking ice cream with apple crumble. Yeah. You gotta have ice cream with apple crumble. Ice cream. Ice cream. You gotta have ice cream with apple crumble. <laughs> I'm fucking retarded. Yeah, no. Have you ever had a rhubarb pie? Like a oh. rhubarb crumble? <laughs> Rhubarb, yuck. I'd rather... I thought your, like, lung was going to come out of your nose I'd rather eat cauliflower than eat rhubarb. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I hate Shh. rhubarb. Okay, it's I disgusting. reckon that's a bit too far considering it's the disgusting. previous hate on cauliflower in episode whatever. But that's how much I don't like rhubarb. Ugh, wow, really? Rhubarb is disgusting. I've had a rhubarb and pear crumble and... It's just a gross word too, rhubarb, like... What? I will. I gotta say, my probably one of my favorite desserts of all time that doesn't get enough love. I don't reckon. Sticky date pudding. Yeah, it's pretty good. If when you come over to Adelaide, I'll get my stepmom to make you one. My, my stepmom, uh, sh- shouts out. Uh, I won't say your name because I don't know if you'd want that on here, but you know who you are. You make the best sticky date pudding on the planet. See, I'm not really a fan of dates though. But you, like, you can't sticky taste date it, dude. Pudding, just, just, it just doesn't like you can't taste it. Yeah, just hold it back and wait till you get to Adelaide at some point, because you'll eat it, and then you cream it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you had something to talk about today. Uh, yeah, music related. So you? moving from desserts uh, and desserts coffee, and crappy patties. Yeah, to music. <laughs> we so, talk about a lot on this podcast. We like to keep it diverse. So I uploaded a uh, poll onto the icebreaker story yesterday um about school songs yeah someone said they didn't have one and i was like oh that kind of sucks yeah it's quite interesting (laughs) go to the polls highlight um but yeah yeah. have y'all seen our polls highlight that's just lit so you guys said 73 percent of you said yes to having a school song i'm presuming most of those were from either Beads or Jimmy's? Yeah, yeah, and and one and some poor souls uh, said no. I mean, you yeah. gotta have a school song. I know, right? Like as much as I hated. <laughs> you and me used to be in the choir. Christ the Son, at honor to the Holy Spirit for the life of De La Salle. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> By the way, St. <laughs> Bede's um, version of that song. Yeah, dude, you guys made that shit so depressing. They ruined the cadence of it. Was it was depressing. Yeah, the cadence. Yeah, dude. What a weird word. Man, man, they lost the cadence. For the life. Oh, I should probably... For the life. Glory be to the... Oh, wait, isn't it honour to? No, it's glory be oh, no, I'm to of, God I'm thinking of a completely Father. different thing. Praise to Jesus Christ the Son. Honour to the Holy Spirit For the life of De La Salle I remember there was a repeat of one of the lines And everyone always fucked yeah, it, it up For the life For the life Boom boom Glory be oh, to Dude we used to be in the choir Ready <laughs> Yeah so We used to be in the choir and one Yeah of, we were those kids one of we, our, were, we, were the th- we were the most stereotypical theatre kids look we didn't do it because we wanted to be in the choir we did it because we felt special because they what they did oh, is dude you didn't have to sit down in the assembly you could sit up on this little rafter thing yeah it was pretty fucking just sick just chat and shit except the microphones were very sensitive yeah. so you gotta be real like, <laughs> yeah. like wasn't I talking into one one time 
Probably. Probably. I was probably like, yeah, fucking yeah. And everyone, someone's like, they can all hear you. And I'm just like, yeah, oh, fucking shit. yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> no, but um, that's one thing I wanted to talk about. This rude bitch. Sorry, someone was like, oh, time we're coming over. And I'm like, ah, it's up to you. Um, <laughs> no, but <laughs> I wanted to say this. <laughs> yeah, as much as I look back on my days in the choir and... <laughs> go wow Ew. I can't believe I did that it was fun they had some fucking bangers man dude when we had to do the uh, like the choir showcase like when we were all singing gold oh no I'm not go. even talking about that though I'm talking about like always the believe Catholic in song. your soul yeah that oh, at dude, masses I'm like, gonna tell you I'm not religious yes we know <laughs> yeah, we know. We know, Lachlan. We know, yeah, we you're know. You're not religious. You're not religious, are you? Uh, I'm not religious, no, but... I remember you used to sort of have... I have, a, like, a, my own relationship with... With the man. With the man upstairs. With the man. See, the thing is, I always, like, my, my dad's, a, like, a full-on atheist, and, and, I, and I, to some degree, am too, but I also just don't know. Like, no one actually knows. Yeah. Like, how the fuck do you know? You die, think, you don't... You die, you can't be like, oh, I'm dead. I only... And wake up and be like, yeah, guys, it's real. Anyway. I think, like, the only reason I kind of follow it is because I think faith is important. Yeah, fuck yeah. Because it's without, you know, believing in some <laughs> yeah. some kind of I'm just getting all the faith, crusty bits off, yeah. It's like... Yeah, it's an interesting way to go about life. I mean, I, I think that... I, I'm not religious, but I do... Um, I do believe in some of the values that they teach. Yeah. I believe in like some of the, the morals, um, except for the part in the Bible. Uh, Oh, we don't need to get into this. I'm like, yo, okay. That part of the Bible kind of needs to just minimize itself and into the garbage, into the fucking get in the car. Uh, yeah. And get in the garbage. It's an interesting, I get worked up about the Bible. Let's just, let's leave it. But yeah. Um, yeah, but I wanted to ask... Fire the Catholic school was fire. What was your favourite um, Catholic banger? That was like... Our St. Jimmy's school song was genuinely yeah. my favourite. Dude, I remember when... It had the... It had a... It, like, the tempo was... Yeah, it was... Dun, dun, it, was dun, dun. it was a nice, fast... Your heart's beating. Everyone's yeah. like... Fucking, yeah, yeah. Um, no, but... It's a good time. I remember when I yeah, first really... started there in year seven... Um, when they did like the introduction to all the year sevens, they were like, "Oh, you guys are gonna have to learn the school song." Yeah. Oh shit. And yeah. I remember they said like, "I never remembered any of my school songs until that one." They were like, "Oh, um, like oh, it's got so many accolades. Like it's been top fifty in the Triple J Hottest One Hundred. Like it was hilarious." <laughs> sorry, I had nice. to do that. Yeah, sorry. Here, go over it. And so, <laughs> and like. They weren't lying. It's a fucking banger. Dude, it's, it's it a is tune. a banger. Yeah. No, but I think, like, Ready the Wait, Way Wait, the was, school song? Yeah. Fuck, it got on... No, they were joking. Oh, right. I, was, I was like, wait, what? No, no, I, they were joking. Because he seemed kind of serious about it. No. I wouldn't be surprised, though. It's a banger. Um, no, but... Yeah, so, like, <laughs> what, you think the school song was the best one? Yeah. I personally think the school song was the best song, because I just love the, the fucking beat, and it's so... I don't know, it's kind of uplifting, like, everyone, like, especially upstairs in the choir. I don't think anyone down on the ground was singing it. Do you reckon that's an actual, like, Catholic song, or do you reckon... Because if St. James and St. Bede's had it... I mean, maybe it's, like, that brother, that brotherhood school thing. Like, they both have that song, yeah, but St. Bede's is kind of depressed about it. <laughs> yeah, dude, theirs was... They ruined it! I remember getting there, and they were like, oh, like, school song. And I was like, yeah, here we go! <laughs> and they said... And I was like, what I don't is... even know how it goes yeah. because it's so trash. And I'm like, what is this? That's so weird. Like how we've got the same song, but one's at a fucking shit tempo. <laughs> and I can't remember the song, even though I remember the other one. Yeah. Because it's shit. And the other one is fire. Yeah. I don't know why I'm talking. Dude, I've got to tell you, I'm feeling so hyper today. I don't know why. No, trust me. It's not the coffee. Like I'm... The coffee doesn't usually... Yeah, that's so bad. I need to stop drinking coffee. Coffee doesn't do anything for me anymore. It's just the taste now. The only reason... Another reason why I picked up coffee is because... <sighs> yeah, I was going to say, how did, how did it happen? If I need the energy, I'd rather drink something that's a little bit more natural than having, like, energy drinks and shit now. Yeah. Because I've talked about Definitely, before, if you're going like, to get a coffee, go to a cafe, though. Yeah, yeah, I Because, did, I did. like... Oh, where did you guys go? Uh, we have this Leroy's? place near uni. 
Um, yeah. So. I was going to say Leroy Manton. I thought you went with like the missus. Oh, no, no, no. I remember I came home from work the other day and I was like, you know what would be interesting if I had a coffee? And then I, I made it and I was like... Well, it was like, it was like a genuine self-choice. You were like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to have a coffee. Yeah. Made, made a change for the better, man. <laughs> We're shaking hands right now. Yeah. Um, Beautiful. How good is a firm handshake? I know, right? God, like, this podcast is all over the place, man. <laughs> like, having a firm handshake and someone firmly shake it back, you're like, oh, fuck. Okay. I love I love the feeling when you go to handshake someone, your hand's like a little limp, and you feel theirs is like really firm, so you're like, oh, shit, I better... Yeah, like, better. shit, I better match this. Yeah. <laughs> like, how firm was your handshake when you met your missus dad? Oh, dude. Dude, do you remember, like, the first time you met the parents and oh, you're shitting yourself, and you're like... I, I actually... The first time I met my girlfriend's family... It was actually pretty cool because, like, you know, it wasn't wasn't like the typical oh the dad's scary and like and he's gonna be like you have to do anything my like yeah, dog I'm gonna yeah. fucking kill you yeah because I remember right she told me that her dog like if there's someone coming past the house or like at the door mm. she'll bark always and she's like I remember the first time you came over you came to the door the dog like didn't even bark Aww. and I was like yeah yeah you got the dog <laughs> yeah right? let's um, get it. Oh, oh, that's kind of cute. Yeah, I know. So that was like pretty cool. Dog's name Coco, isn't it? Yeah. Good name. And then... um, We got rid of my dog. And then... <laughs> yeah. The rest of it was just kind of normal. Yeah. It wasn't like... I mean, yeah, that's pretty or... good. I mean, I... Fuck, man. I can't remember meeting any of my girlfriend's parents now because I've been single for like two years. And I don't really... That sounds like a bad thing. Someone said to me the day, well, Moon, don't say that out loud. I was like, why not though? Maybe it's a choice. Yeah. Does it, I mean, like... Is it? <laughs> no, I've been... Uh, back for closer to when I originally, like, split, I was, like, thinking, like, yeah, yeah, I'll get no... And I was like, nah. Just can't be fucked. I'm not ready yeah. as well as can't be fucked. Because I'm, like, I rushed into a lot of relationships. Yeah. And, and that's what's fucked it up. Yeah. So I was like, you know, I'm a break. And you know what? It's been two years. I'm a little lonely. <laughs> but no, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Please help me. Please help me. I need some love. I need some love. Yeah. Yeah. But like, no, I'm, I'm, and I'm chilling. I'm actually really enjoying life. I can literally do whatever I want. I, and, I gotta I mean, say, you, like, you should be able to do whatever you want in a relationship. And I think that's what I've fucked up with. So. I, got, I gotta say, like, ever since, like, your last relationship broke up and whatever, I definitely think that you've been not exactly happier, but you've definitely been doing. A lot more for yourself. Yeah, well, dude, as soon as I got out of that last, you know, big relationship, I started producing. That yeah. was when I started producing. Oh boy, we better get these filled back up. It's yeah. gonna be a long fucking episode. Can we get the coffee's done? It's gonna get deep. No, but hey, uh, um, can we get those? Hey! Yeah, no. Start yelling out to someone. Yeah, I wish I had a butler. That'd be cool. Yeah, no, but like I can yeah, see. No, I, I, I agree. I can definitely, definitely see that you've you've definitely. I think I've grown and I think I've matured a bit and uh, definitely I definitely yeah. see that because not only have you gotten older within that time but, but you yeah you've definitely done a lot of growing I've been through some shit yeah since that oh man last two years have been crazy two years like, yeah that's year 11 and 12 dude yeah that's... they were intense years uh, honestly like looking back on it I'm actually really surprised that I managed to get through Holy year 12 and still like yeah have a good relationship because yeah dude like honestly you got <laughs> fuck you guys have been together like almost five years yeah that's crazy. that like that scares me not in a bad way I'm like holy shit dude yeah no it's crazy so, like, when that's, you, like, every, that's everyone's reaction though <laughs> yeah let's not let's not even go there let's not even go there <laughs> Not even, not even on the Yeah, horizon. that's not even on the fucking thoughts. Actually, I wanted to quickly congratulate you. Um, I won't say where you're going, because I don't know if you'd want to, but... I am going few, on a holiday. For yeah, me. a few episodes ago, Jack was like, you know, oh, I want to go on a holiday. I was like, dude, you go overseas with your family all the time. You go to New all the time. He's like, no, I mean on a holiday without my parents that I've paid for. And, you know, Jack's going on a fucking holiday with yeah, the missus. And managed I'm managed to fucking, save up the money. I'm proud. Congratulations, my, my bro. My account's not happy, though. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, but yeah. You've, you've booked and everything, like flights yeah, and yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah, booked everything. Yeah, dude, fucking good so job. Going, that's, like, I think that's uh, an achievement in some ways because you've been able to self-sufficiently oh, book a fucking holiday, dude. been a fucking hard time, I tell you. <laughs> but uh, it's going to be worth it, which is cool. Yeah. And, like, yeah. I finish 
uni my first year on Monday, so... Oh, do you finish on Monday? Yeah, well, technically I finished hey. tomorrow because that's the end of all Man. my classes, but I got an exam on Monday. Ew. <laughs> and like, oh, the exam's going to be trash. Because yeah. it's like economics and... But it's okay. Go on a... Going on your holiday, they got some good music where you're going, eh? Yeah, they do. Up in up in that area. Yeah. Is it really? Do you want to not say where it is, or? Yeah, I'd rather not. Yeah. Okay. It's not. Like, like we'll I'm, just let you know that it's, it's some it's, good music where. It's not like I'm famous or anything, it's, and people are gonna follow me. It's but just, it's still like I'd I don't rather just. I don't want people to know where I'm yeah. going. But yeah, they got some music, good music where where Jack's going, and uh, I think we'll jump back on to music. And I think you actually had some uh, some nice little. Yeah. So like, <laughs> the topic before I had was like you know. The, the school, school music. the school songs and stuff. Um, what would be like? Do mm. you have like a favorite Australian artist? Uh, could it be any genre. It could be any genre. Like just because of what music I'm into, it'd probably either be uh, either Flume or What So Not. But another Australian band that I actually really fucking vibe is uh, Thirsty Merc. Oh, yeah. oh, dude, they're fucking legends, man. But yeah, no. I feel I, like um, Australian music gets a pretty bad rap. It does. It does. I feel like it's pushed under a bit, and it's it's and it's kind of it it's kind unsettling of settling because it, we're artists that come from here. It kind of shits me, like especially with the genre I'm into, like hip hop in Australia gets shat on all the time because it's you know it's basically just a generic version of what america has all that yeah. kind of stuff but yeah. i'm like does it really matter like if it's still enjoyable then why should it matter whether it's you know a generic version like if it sounds if it sounds like good music then i'll yeah. enjoy it and like <coughs> i've tried to diversify my music like what music i listen to because for a while like it was just a lot of oh it's only like Hip hop that I'm listening to, yeah. But now I'm kind of getting more into the R and B, and like, yeah. I feel like that's one thing that I've done uh, in my time of being just not alone. That sounds so fucking depressing, but like just sort of being free to explore yourself. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I've like like the I've discovered a lot of new music, and I'm sort of like, and I've enjoyed a lot more Australian music uh, definitely over the last couple of years. And I think um, we're not on a. I don't think we're on a rise, unfortunately, because of uh, shit that's gone on in the Australian music industry but yeah. I definitely think Australian music is improving and I think a lot more people are aware of it yeah I think the <clears throat> overall attitude towards it is getting better because that's the one thing I've managed to pick up from this course that I'm doing at uni is the whole um, the whole thing around Australian music like I've learned to appreciate it more because I'm like, yeah. If if I didn't have Australian music, like, the thing I'm studying wouldn't exist, and like, yeah, dude, fuck, it would be so, so much true. harder for me to find a job. Yeah, because we like, wouldn't have been able to do our vet course, I reckon. Like, if Australian music wasn't as prominent. Yeah, yeah, and like, oh, so I'm yeah. a lot more a, thankful for it because I'm really like, big. without that, I probably wouldn't have been able to. Do what you've done the do last what I'm year. Doing. Yeah, and like, and that was a big year for you. It has been a really big year. For yeah, you. it's been like probably the biggest. Yeah, <laughs> one of the biggest years of my I life. Mean, I mean, I've, I, you know what, I've seen you this year. I've, I've seen you. Uh, you've really, um, because I remember back in school, we were sort of like, yeah, whatever, like, fucking do it later. Yeah, I've seen you put this course first over so many things, and I think that's so fucking strong because I. You know, having a relationship, that's just another thing that I can't, can't even imagine having like through year 12. Yeah. Like that's a, that would be a huge distraction for me. Well, I think... And for you to go through uni and sort of not put it last, but, you know, prioritize your uni when you like when you really need to, you know? Yeah. I, I think I've seen a lot of growth in um, well, like prioritization. I think it's really fucking good, dude. I really kind of owe that course for creating this, I guess. Yeah. Because... We've been wanting to do this for a while. A long time. But we just haven't gotten to it. Like we, we have we haven't gotten to it because we didn't know the skills. We didn't know It's not even that, we just didn't we weren't aware of how long it takes to actually build up an Dude. audience and And to actually do it in general. But now that I've gone through this course, it's made me just go, if we wanna do something, just do it. There's, yeah. 
Oh. Like, there is plenty of time because we're still young, but why... Why wait? Why wait, you know? like it's just fucking do stupid. It. And if it wasn't for Jack, guys, um, like, I'm going to put it out there, this probably wouldn't happen because Jack has put so many suggestions and so much effort into this. I feel like... That I, I like, would have never have even known how to implicate. I've just got no fucking idea, and I'm very fucking grateful to I have feel you like the most... The thing I've taken the most out of this course is I feel like my creativity's grown a lot. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Because I've I, used... I see you as being more, a lot more confident as well. Yeah, definitely. Dude. Definitely a lot more confident. Because that was the problem with everything that I was kind of doing in high school, is like, if I was doing it, then there was always either someone better doing it or... <laughs> yeah. Not... Or there was, you know, kind of this stigma around it that it's kind of weird to do or like... But now, being in a course with other people that want to do the same thing, I'm like, okay, now that I know that there's people that want to do this same thing, makes it more easy. It makes it easier for me to want to do it because I'm like, you know, um, I'm not going to be the only one doing it. And if I do need help, like, people are going to support me. Yeah. So that's why my oh, confidence yeah. has grown a lot. So that's why... Yeah, I don't know how we got on from Australian music to this, but... Like, I mean, I, I think it's just we're talking about the industry and how, you know, how your how the industry... If the industry wasn't around, like, you wouldn't be able to do your course. And, and like, the and good thing how about... how your course has helped with this, and so that's why we're here. The good thing about my course is that it's not <clears throat> just music-based. It's based yeah. around entertainment. Which like, is you, ran a, you ran a trivia event the other day. Oh, yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty sick. You sold it out, didn't you? Yeah, we, we had yeah. 50 people come. Yeah, good shit, dude. Raised 600 bucks, which was pretty cool. Oh, nice. Yeah, so that was pretty sick. Um, it's I, definitely not something I would want to keep doing. In the, yeah, but in it's future. still experience running something, and I think that's uh, that's really cool, dude. Yeah. Um, You had something you wanted to say, didn't you? Yeah. From Australian music. Um, So... I think it's a per- like the perfect place to put it in. Yeah, it's right here. So because we're yeah you know, on the topic of Australian music and uh, yeah, take it away, big big boy. Hey guys, so just a really quick message that we wanted to put out there. Um, if you know anyone who's pursuing or planning on pursuing a career in music in Australia, um, I think this is a really important message to listen to. So at the moment, uh, Australian commercial radio stations are falling well below the required minimum amount of airtime that they're giving to Australian artists within a prime time, Hell yeah. which is between 6am and 6pm. Um, and a petition has been created to ensure that these statistics are heard and public concern is shown. So if you guys are interested in signing this petition, the link will be in the description to this episode. They currently need around 10,000 signatures. So your signature could be the difference in making sure that Australian music is heard on commercial radio. Yeah, definitely a... Uh something that uh, it's something that's really kind of near and dear to our hearts because we have a lot of friends that are yeah and ourselves careers. we ourselves are you know Australian and <laughs> no shit <laughs> but you know I you know I produce music so I'm Australian artist and I, you know you want to eventually do some shit and you know that's it's something really important to us and for us to you know if we if we manage to get people onto this then it, it really shows that we are actually concerned and that you know, it needs to change. And the main reason why the petition has been created is because um, members of the government have, quote unquote, uh, not been shown enough public concern to make this a real issue. Yeah. So if we can sign this petition and show some public concern, then you know we can ha- we can take a step towards actually trying to get Australian uh, Australian commercial in the, radio in the limelight. That's it. Thanks, yeah. guys. So yeah. We're back now. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I thought thought we'd um, jump just, onto a an audience suggested topic here. Um, yeah. You know, shout the, out to you guys' uh, engagement. Yeah. In the last actually, that's weeks. been really good, and that's something that I wanted to quickly mention. Uh, the Google form, as of the release of this episode, has uh, been uh, deactivated, so the link you know won't work. It'll work, but you won't be able to submit your answer. Um, so everyone who you know responded and, and gave us their opinion. It, it really is it really does help you know just every little bit help like I've got messages like personally Jack's got message pers- messages personally and people who say like oh we really fucking love listening to this or I love what you guys talk about or even the people that say hey I don't like this you should maybe try this it's so helpful and um, yeah we're, we're really grateful um, for you guys and 
the ones that come back and listen every single week. It yeah, is, uh, it's awesome, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, shout out uh, Taranto. He uh, said I can name drop uh, Anthony Taranto. Follow. He's been a he's been a weekly listener. Yeah, so yeah. Toronto listens every week, and um, that's fucking he'll, awesome. He'll be excited for this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was like, "Oh, you guys should talk about Year Ten camp," and I thought, "Oh yeah, Year Ten that camp." Was, year Ten camp honestly, was I'm my favorite s- camp of all time. Yes, it's, it was the I, most I eventful year, and year 10, hilarious. Oh, Year Ten was my favorite year yeah, yeah. of schooling all round. Yeah, we had uh, we had Shepo as our coordinator and every morning he would like he'd round us up in the lines and it wouldn't be like alright line up it'd be that fucking whistle I can't do it so yeah. I won't do it on here and he'd say like alright dickheads good man good man I think he called us he called us fuck sticks once which was funny as because I'm like oh yeah no he steered away from dickheads oh okay cool but year 10 camp yeah oh speaking oh, of that man. Shepo actually yeah year 10 camp the first the first night, or the first day we got there, so I'll, I'll tell because I oh know. with the lollies yeah, yeah. So what we what we did was everyone yeah we, 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 had we weren't group, allowed to bring the food but we did it anyway. We had cause... a group chat for the year ten camp and basically it was <laughs> we were assigned everyone had to bring some yeah. kind of snacks and we brought a lot. Yeah, see, I'm that kind of person. They go, oh, I just bring a bag of snacks. So I'm like, okay, I'll bring a bag, and then everyone else goes, I'll bring four. Yeah, like I brought so much soft drink and like mad Doritos. And I remember Taranto bought this two tubs of gummy gummy worms. worms. Dude, I was the happiest kid alive because you know I love sour worms. Hell yeah! Um, and um, oh man. And basically, what we were gonna do because we were in the tent and we were we were wankers. We were like, let's Still get, <laughs> let's get it into a big pile and we'll take and a take photo. And take a photo. Uh, by the way, if I can find the photo, I'll um I'll chuck it up on our Facebook and Instagram uh, yeah, later definitely. on. Definitely. But um, <laughs> so what happened was um, ow fuck, ow! The, the year level coordinator was doing the rounds. Yeah, and Just so we've got a pile stuff. of lollies and snacks and shit. Keep in mind, we're not allowed to be having these. Yeah. And so... And and it's like, oh, usually if you're going to be like, oh, uh, this person's coming, you say quietly so they don't hear you. Yeah, yeah. But Tirano yells out from the window, SHEPO'S COMING! Like, in the loudest voice. Yeah, so Shepo clearly hears this. And so... And I'm posing behind the fucking lollies like a dickhead. <laughs> and I sprung into action. I fucking dive-bombed onto all these lollies and shoved almost every single, single thing under one of the bunk beds I'm like oh thank fuck and there's still like a little there's a, like a, with a bottle of Mountain Dew on, yeah. the, on the ground and Shepard comes in and he just goes what are you and I look at him smile and then like while I'm standing there like stiff in the air I just go and you kick I just the kick bottle. the bottle under the bed and he can see it and he and just, you can still see shit that's under the bed he really doesn't care and he's like he's like keep it down dickheads no he's like oh it's dinner. <laughs> Come on. And we were like, fuck. <laughs> and I remember, oh, and then continuing I'm this day. hypothermia around that camp. After dinner, <laughs> I go into the rooms before everyone. And Lockie, Is this the cookie? Yep. <laughs> and there was these cookies for dessert at the, the disappearing camp. cookie. Yeah, dude, I took so many and you're only meant to take one. And um, I so go back to the dorm first and lock it because... It was me and another kid. We, it, was you and, it was you and Adzi. Yeah, and we you, decided Adzie and Drew. to lock it. And you had to get in there real bad for some reason. I don't know why. I just wanted to get in. Yeah, and then... So I, felt, I loved being in the cabin, because the cabin's the finest place in the fucking camp. And, um... And you guys were like, oh, what's the bet lock you get to the door? And be like, open the door, cunts! Exactly what happened. And about, yeah, five seconds later, I come to the door and go, oh. open the door, cunts! And when they get the door open... We, we we locked the door for a solid five minutes, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys and when you pissed. finally unlocked it, I come in, I look well, up at... Me, and me, Adzi, and Drew are all pissing ourselves laughing. Because yeah. I predicted exactly what was going to yeah, happen. Yeah, and Adzi's like, in the Lockie's top bunk get... right next to the bed. I thought I was top. Oh, uh, whoever fucking was. Yeah. One of you were there, and you are pissing yourselves. And well, oh, someone said something oh, like, oh, you got your cookie? Yeah, and I, I fucking look up at them, and I go, yeah? You got your fucking cookie, yeah? He and I literally fucking... frisbee the cookie... And it hit the wall. This is like Joe's story when, yeah, he, when yeah. his sister threw the cookie. When he sh- threw the cookie it at shatters Shannon's. into pieces. Yeah, the cookie fucking just disappeared into crumbs. <laughs> and like, we're like, fuck. 
You went from being angry to absolutely amazed. I was like, in- holy shit, where did the cookie go? But I was so pissed. I was like, hey, what your fucking cookie, yeah? <laughs> and just frisbeed it. It went straight into oh, the wall. And then later time. that night, Tarina's like, what the fuck's that? And he's like laying on the crumbs of the cookie. Oh, <laughs> he's God. like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, ah, oh, yeah. I piffed a cookie at the wall. Yeah. Dude, some you oh. attend, like camps in general are just some of the best times because you'd stay up talking, one. talking and then teachers would come in and be like, Shut up, shut up. Sleep. That's the funniest part. You shut up, go to bed. Big day tomorrow. It's like... <laughs> yeah, we just giggle like fucking oh, schoolgirls. Is... Yeah, fucking hell. I said deja vu because we said that exact same phrase in an episode. Giggle like schoolgirls, bitches. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, another funny thing. Um, I think you guys are actually asleep for this, but I know Chris and I were up. Oh, God. <laughs> Chris and I were like on our phones in the bathroom. Again, something else we weren't supposed to have. Yeah, we weren't supposed to have. We, we could have our phones, but not... We weren't supposed to, like, be on them all the time. Yeah. Like, anyway, if yeah. the teacher saw you on your phone, they'd just be like, get off Give it to you. Or, well, like, get off if, it. Yeah, if you're on it, like, too many times, we'd give it to you. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, so Chris and I were out, like, late as fuck. It was, like, one thirty in the morning. <laughs> For a year 10, that's pretty late. <laughs> yeah, and everyone was, like... Everyone had gone to sleep, so Chris and I were just, like, up chatting shit. And then we heard footsteps outside. We're like, fuck, fuck! So, so I'm like, to- we got into the bed. I had to climb up and get into my bed. And I was doing the old fucking... Yeah. And then the door opens. Oh, no. And I sit uh, like, from the corner of my eye, I'm like... You're like, Because it's dark. And I'm like, laying down. I had to like, double chin look down. I was like, what the fuck? And like, six people walking. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? I'm going to get raped. So, yeah, so like, I close my eyes. I like, put my head down. I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? And then I see one of them start climbing onto my bunk bed. You're like... Ah. And I'm like, um... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then I open my eyes and they're directly over me and it's fucking JC. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing in here? Like I jet that's what I said. I was like, the fuck are you doing in here? And it, like in there was like JC, Riley, and all that. All six of them in our cabin. Yeah. You guys are all asleep. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing in here? JC looks at me and goes, Oh fuck, you're not Fred. They're like, guys, this isn't Fred's cabin. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck's going on right now? Well. Yeah, so I almost got right. No, I'm kidding. Oh, can I tell you a story about Year Dude. Seven camp? Oh, yeah, Year Seven camp. Oh, okay. Okay, so Year Seven camp was fucking sick because <laughs> yeah, we got in this like there was cabins everywhere. Yeah, and we managed to get this cabin in a special house that was separated from the rest of the camp. Right. And there was like there was like half like half of it was all cabins for students and then the rest was like a teacher's the lounge. Te- yeah. They yeah, they have that in like every camp. I'm pretty sure looking back on it now is because we're all naughty. So they were trying to keep the naughty kids in the one area. So, yeah. 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 But yeah. I wasn't even that naughty in year seven. I just hung around with kids that were. Oh, I was Oh so, mate, I don't know. I don't know. Mr. Fucking Kids TNs over here. Oh yeah. yeah. No, this was bef- <laughs> this was before I had the TNs. Oh really? Yeah. Fuck man, this was just before Jack's uh, bandit TN. dades. Dades? Yeah, no, but <laughs> so basically we were in this house and it was away from everyone else. So basically we Yeah. We had time to fuck around before the teachers came and got us. <laughs> we had time to fuck around. Yeah. So that's what we were doing. We were fucking running up and down the halls, like oh, doing all this shit. Lord. And someone goes and, and someone's outside the cabin doing oh like outside the house doing who knows what. And we just hear They're fucking going shit <laughs> What? And, and and that's what we were doing. We were looking in the fridge for Oh, God. Shit to eat because we were year seven and we were hungry. Wait, was this in your cabin? No, this was like in the house. Because the oh, house had like a separate... you into the house and went to get food? No, no, we oh. went... The cabins were in this house. Right. Oh, yeah, Like gotcha. we got put in a separate area because... Gotcha. Yeah. That's fucking mad. I know, it was so sick. Yeah. And, um... Anyway, long story short, we're here, like, Mr. Riley... Oh, no! Like, Mr. Lasker, all these... Phil. All these teachers coming... And so, Mr. Gilbert. But they see, yeah. like, they see us from the outside, so we all run back into oh, the cabin. Oh no! Yeah. I'm gonna use some chemistry in a second as well. And um, basically, what happens is, well, this episode's gonna go for a bit longer. <laughs> no, I think we should be right. Um, we got five minutes. <laughs> and some kids can't make it up to their bunks in time. Oh so shit! So some are sleeping, like, get their sleeping bag, chuck them on the floor, pretend they're sleeping on the floor. Okay. And I go back on my top bunk. 
and I just put my head to the pillow, do the old. Yeah. One, everyone dogs me out, and it's like, oh yeah, Jack was there too. Cause he, oh he wow! Pulled, he pulled everyone out of the cabins and was like, get the fuck in out. Wow, yeah, that was a thing in year seven. Everyone just rat everyone out. And I was on the top bunk pretending to sleep, so they thought I was sleeping, and then. Obviously, yeah. someone ratted me out, so he walks back into the cabin where I am sleeping on the top bunk. He oh, goes, no. he goes, I know you're not asleep, just come on. And I'm like, uh. <laughs> so we all yes. get, and he's like, you guys are being stupid, you're mucking around, blah, blah, all this shit. And he's like, get back into bed if we have to come up here again. Yeah. Like, we'll be sleeping in the in the same like area. Or yeah, whatever. oh, dude, when the teachers threaten to have you in like the same room as them, I'll be like, I don't want to yeah. be in the same room. Fuck so, that off, man. And basically, we got in trouble. Yeah. But the one thing that was funny <laughs> is that it happened. I think it happened again at one point, and I pretended to go to the toilet, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, I'm just going to the toilet." They're like, "Oh, like we know." Like they're like, "Yeah, we know you were out here." I was like, "Fuck." Uh, you got again. <laughs> yeah, I was gone again. <laughs> yeah, uh, some, something similar happened on on my year seven camp. It was really hot. Yeah. During my year seven camp, so we we're all, like, it was just cabin of dudes. So we had our shirts off. We just had our, like fucking PJ shorts on. Boxes, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And we were like, I can't remember what we we're doing. We think we we're playing like murder in the dark. And I was like shielding myself yeah. with my pillow. Yeah. And at some point, I chucked it like back on my bed. Anyway, so we we're all like, fuck, let's just hide on in this box. Um, bunk. Bunk. Yeah. And, like you won't find us at all. Yeah. And then we hear. So I'm kind of the stairs. Oh no! Because we had a massive cabin with yeah. like th- uh, three level two bed bunk beds yeah. and one double bed. There was a kitchen, yeah, yeah. bathroom. Yeah, this was like our thing. Except- like just in in the one cabin, I was like, "Fuck, this yeah." Is bad. Um, cool. So I fucking dibs the uh, double, bed. double bed. Yeah, first thing I did, except there was a fucking mad huntsman right next to it that night. Ooh. Yeah, man, we killed the fuck out of that thing. Um, there's people that say, <laughs> yeah, like. And the double the double bed is right next to the door of the thing, yeah. and I'm over the other side of the fucking thing. I'm like, dude, I'm not gonna be able to get there in time. And everyone's like running their beds, and so I'm like, I looked at my friend. He goes, and oh, I no. fucking jump in his bed with him, oh, God. and we're like, we're gonna tops off, and so it looks weird. And I'm like, fucking hiding on his pillow, and he comes in, and he's like, what are you idiots doing? And we're like, nothing, nothing, sir. And he goes. Lucky, where are you? Because I wasn't in my bed. And I'm like, fuck, fuck, fuck. And I'm yeah. a bitch. So I like got out of his bed. I got my shirt off and he's like, he's like, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, I was looking for my pillow. And he goes, it's on your bed. And I was like, uh. I was like, ah. <laughs> he's like, just get in your bed. <laughs> I love when <sighs> you'd say some stupid shit and teachers would be like, just oh, don't. just, just don't. Just get in the bed, man. <laughs> Oh. I remember having to share like soap and shit or when someone would leave something on in the shower dude showering in the cabins in year 7 was horrible be like if you open this door I'm gonna come out and fuck kill you while I'm naked man just be na- mad naked dudes everywhere <laughs> <laughs> dude yeah year 10 came I almost got hypothermia cause it was freezing as yeah, shit yeah dude when we I did also that pissed. rafting I also pissed in the um in the wetsuit when we were canoeing <laughs> yeah, I need to pee so you bad got, uh, I was with Vinacha in the in the canoeing? Yeah. We didn't. Yeah, we got wetsuits. No, we 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 only had like the clothes we had on and life jackets. No, we put wetsuits on we, for the canoeing. We we put No, wet- that's for building the raft that you put the life jacket on. No, we had canoe uh, in the canoes we had oh, that only sucks. life jackets. We had I was with Vinacha and had I was wet like suits on. I was like, dude, I'm so sorry. He goes, What? And so I in- intentionally tipped us into the water and peed in the water. I was like, Oh no, we fell under the water. Oh <laughs> <laughs> No, um, yeah. I we had wetsuits for the surfing, but we didn't have. I don't think we went surfing on year ten camp. No, we did. We definitely did? did. Yeah. I don't think we did. We went we went for the horse ride, the raft making, and the canoeing. No, we did. We didn't go surfing, dude. I don't think we didn't go. One surfing of one of on the year years you camp. weren't there because you had to leave for the. Yeah, that was year nine. That yeah. was when you guys went surfing. Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah, because we stayed on the opposite <clears throat> side of the lake. Yeah, and that's when you guys got that photo on the balcony. Anyway, yeah. Um, so it's yeah, well, we're at forty-five minutes. So I just want to tell one more. Oh quick lord, story okay. About camp. Yeah, yeah, quickly hit the it. The infamous camp story of me. What the P? Yeah. I think we've already told this on oh, here. Oh yeah, I probably have. But yeah, long story short, Jack pissed himself on the bus because the dickhead wouldn't pull over. Yeah. Yeah. Jack not- had to go get new clothes with the. Uh, 
Good on, Mr. Senior. No, it was actually... It was I remember actually yelling out, he's pissed himself, <laughs> because I was like, oh, he's peeing! Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, that made me feel even I'm worse. I'm sorry, dude, I called you out, but there was like piss dripping from the seat, and I'm like, ah! Yeah, you weren't even sitting next to me, though. Yeah, I was behind you. Sean. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. We'll Anyways, wrap it up yeah. There. Wrap it up here. Think Jack, would you... Uh, door, so. Yeah, would you... Uh, would you like to plug yourself? Yeah, so um, you guys can find me on Instagram at jack.shelt and on Twitter at jackshelton00. Nice. Where can they find you, man? Uh, y'all can find me on Instagram at Lockie.Howell. That's L-A-C-H-Y, by the way. And on Twitter at Lockie Howell with no dot. Um, yeah, you can find the socials for the show on Instagram at the Icebreaker Podcasts. On Twitter at Icebreaker Potty. And on Facebooker. Facebooker? Facebooker. <laughs> uh, at the Icebreaker Podcast. The links are in the description. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, hit that notification icon so you don't miss any releases. And make sure to follow the SoundCloud if that's where you're listening from. Yeah. Thanks for listening, guys. Yeah, it's been episode 11. Uh, <coughs> shit in my throat. Goodbye. <laughs> Should probably... Stop recording now. Oh, we should stop recording now? Yeah, probably. Okay, see you then. <laughs>